Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out two different types of wax molds for my candles. I bought these on Amazon. One of them is supposed to be kind of like a shape of a, I guess a circular diamond. That's what it said it was. And then I have another one here that's supposed to be like a woman figure. So I'm going to go ahead and try these out. I've never tried um, making into like a mold. I've always done just candles and just jars. So this is my first time trying out in, uh, in an actual mold. So we'll see how this turns out and um, kind of hoping for the best here. So Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pour the wax in here. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, so I already poured the wax in there, you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit. I'm not going to just, I'm going to try not to bother it or anything and then I'll come back when it's uh, ready to be removed so we can see how it turns out. Okay, so it's been about a day uh, that I poured in the wax. It's already officially fully hardened. I did notice that it took a while for the wax to completely cool, so that's why I left it so long because it was, felt like the inside was still a little warm. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove it and see how difficult or how easy it's actually to remove. And then this is the other one. Ah! Oh no. There's the other one. So as you can see, it it like completely broke in half as I was pulling it out, and some of the arm also came off. Um, so I'm not really sure what I did wrong here. I did see that some people recommended that as soon as you pour the wax in here, you just stick it in the freezer, and that's supposed to help it completely harden and stick together. Somebody else also said that they cut their mold a little bit and that helped them kind of like roll it in and out and they just rubber banded but I don't know I figured I would just give this one a try and it looks like it you know broke so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try again but I on these on this next try I am gonna uh, poke a hole through here it's said to poke a hole with a toothpick that way you could pull the wick through so um, that's what I'm gonna do Okay, so I went ahead and removed the moldings from the freezer. They were in there maybe for a good, maybe 30 minutes. So I wanna see if that helped with anything on, on it sticking a little bit better. It 
and for some reason it actually does feel smoother than the other one now the big reveal here for this one this is the one I'm pretty nervous about so So as you can see, it did help to put the, the wax in the freezer after, after it hardens. It doesn't have to be like right directly after you pour it. it can, you can wait a little bit until it hardens and then put it in the freezer and it for sure helps to keep it together. I mean, this came out beautiful. I mean, you can see everything, even the creases of the collar bones. I mean, this is really nice. The only thing is that whole sticking the wick in, that's my only downer there, but I mean, I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna just put this one closer to the end and I mean, should be good to go, I mean. But, yeah, let me see. There you go. And as always, I'll put the link for the for the molds in the description. And if you guys have any questions regarding any of the molds here, feel free to go ahead and comment them. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because you never know what I'll be reviewing next. Thanks for watching.